Hello everyone, this is Inayat Mir with Understanding Read Only Domain Controller concept. So this will be a live demo where I will go and promote a domain controller. I am going to take this DC1 and SVR1 and I am going to change SVR name to my RODC. So logging in to adatom.com existing domain going into a server manager showing you my second domain which is not a domain i have a member server of adatom.com originally server name is lon-svr1 i am going to change this to my rodc as a host name currently as you can see this server is a member of adatom.com now host name is going to be changed to my rodc and work group i am going to give it to my last name then i am going to reboot this server so now you see my rodc is not a domain member anymore i am rebooting as a part of work group and work group name is m e e r this is my dc active directory my domain is adatom.com where i have some pre configured built in groups some users there i am going to create a new user this user will be a just a domain user no credentials no permissions but i am going to authorize this user for rodc creation credentials so this is a just domain user a member of no group this user technically will not be able to log in to the dc remotely from any domain controller that is a default behavior on the other end i am going in to my rodc new host which is a work group at this time just rebooted i i disjoined lon dash svr1 from a datum.com domain then i rename that svr1 to my rodc under local server you can see the new name and new work group name new name is my rodc work group name is m e e r let's use a dashboard add new roles and features now you see existing svr1 has a down arrow like a disabled account if i delete or, or if i don't delete this will not be a matter so i will leave it leave that server name as it is but i care about my new server which is not here so i'm going to here <coughs> pre configure my rodc this is a kind of equivalent to a dc promo this is my server name my rodc i am showing you from my wordpad this will be a part of that domain as a uh, backup domain controller in other words i would say a read only domain controller or rodc here i am configuring this server this will be a global catalog server and a dns server and keep in mind this dns server will always also be a read only so it will not be writeable i am going to authorize emir e m e e r to promote this server or configure this server as a read only domain controller so here you see my rodc name with a down arrow which will be up shortly once i'm done with that (coughs) 
I am adding domain binaries ADDS on my RODC. This is done. In real life, this will take a little f more time because I am doing a fast forward. I am promoting now my RODC as a read-only domain controller. I am using my EMEER account that I created, which is a domain user only. Select the domain name, click on next. I am using a default first site, that's the only one I have right now. This is a pre-created RODC. I am using my domain adatum.com. <coughs> you can view script. This gives you the whole configuration steps. Now click on next. Once you qualified, prerequisites passed you are able to promote this server as a domain controller. Again, this server will be a DC domain controller. This server will be a global catalog server. This server will be a DNS server. So my RODC or read-only domain controller will not be a writable. So I will not be able to write in this domain. So prerequisites were good. Promotion was good rebooting back to my this server so now we will have at both end same domain name a datum so but one a datum will be a writable domain one a datum will be a readable only read only let's add some animations on the side so i'm going to add some notes as a pop-in to give you some more information. Now I am in my edatum.com domain. You will see my existing account. Let's create a new account with the same name. So this account was created on dc1.edatum.com. So you have to make it unique. So as you see that, you see an error message as expected, as I also put this note. So I'm adding number two in it. So now this account is a unique account. So you are might be very wondering that how I was able to create this account. The reason is you have to go to change the domain and you have to select my RODC, not LO and dash DC. So my RODC is actually a read only, not LO and dash DC one. So that is a trick and that is a catch. So you have to understand that. So now you can go and see everything is grayed out. You cannot do anything here. You cannot write anything. If I want to go and change the account and uh, lo log on hours, you cannot. Even I am able to attempt. So you can attempt to change the hours, but after OK, it will not let you click on apply. So you come back and check. You should see originally as it was. So that indicates this is really a read-only domain controller. So you cannot give management to anyone unless you go back and change your domain controllers to read-only. Now you are able to look, manage. You can change who can manage this container. You can create new users. But these new users, what you see here, eme and eme2, these should be actually in my writable domain controller. So you see all of both, uh, two groups are there, two users are there. You refresh it, you see the both one. So you see both account, eme and eme2. So this is my... Active Directory. Under Users, you have some pre-configured or pre-built-in groups that you can look at it. So I'm switching between my 
DC1 and SVR1 just to show you this AD console you see here your denied RODC password replication group and allowed RODC password replication group so allowed has no members deny has default members so I will come back in a different video and I will explain this all but my main concern was only to give you a look that how this all looks like thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you in my next video thank you this is a nightmare.